at least three members of parliament are on the spot after the Auditor General unearthed that they may have claimed travel reimbursement up to three times what they spent, while others took home over five million shillings in subsistence and mileage claims for local travel at a time they had traveled abroad with all the accompanying benefits. Now, in a report of the financial year ending June 2020, the auditor further questions more than half a billion shillings in payments made by the prisons department with no evident supplies delivered. Sam Gitugu has more. In recent years, Parliament's budgetary allocation has steadily grown to currently stand at 37 billion shillings. Part of this is 1.39 billion shillings spent in the financial year 2019-2020 for domestic travel and subsistence of the members of Parliament. The Auditor General Nancy Gathungu taking issue with some 11.4 million shillings paid as mileage claims. Three unnamed members of parliament are said to have been paid twice or thrice their supposed dues for travel of the same debt. Gathungu taking issue in another 5.2 million shillings claimed for local travel and subsistence of some MPs. But on the debts they claimed the domestic compensation, they were out of the country, already enjoying the allowances that come with the foreign tours. As of December 2020, the said MPs had not paid back the irregularly paid funds. And as focus remains on government expenditure, the Correctional Services Department has been listed as incorrectly paying for goods and services never delivered. Some 555 million shillings was paid from the prison's department headquarters in the financial year 2017-2018 with no corresponding supplies. The auditor in her report saying those paid had supplied nothing and that they were unknown at the claimed user prison stations. The said suppliers had no contracts to supply the prisons. Of the 610 million shillings paid through the government online platform IFMIS, only 190 million shillings had been supplied against, meaning an overpayment of 119 million shillings that the auditor now finds irregular. The payments are in regards to expenditure between 2014 and 2018. The matter is currently under investigation by the ESCC. And as several departments remain guilty of stalled projects, the prison's department has at least 21 million shillings stuck in projects as old as 12 years now. Shimolatoa Prison has a two-bedroom staff house that has stalled since 2009, having sunk in 2 million shillings. Manyani Maximum Prison has a similar structure that had consumed 2 million shillings by 2010. Kericho Medium Prison should have by now a new prisoner's mixed block it stalled after taking in 2.5 million shillings in 2016. Naivasha Women Prison has had a stalled prisoner's ward since 2016, stuck in time with 6.1 million shillings. Kakamega Main Prison should by now have had a new store. It stalled after raking in 3 million shillings. According to the Auditor General, Kenyans stand to lose the value of 21.6 million shillings invested in the projects that are between 23 and 89% completion. The prison's department, as of December last year, had no elaborate plan on how to complete the projects. Parliament will have to process the Auditor General's report, seek answers from implicated offices, and make recommendations for implementation by cited agencies. Sam Kitukusri TV, Nairobi.